All right, Elite Code 3 here, and today we're going to do a uh, box of 2015 Bowman Baseball. This was kind of a product that wasn't um, heralded too highly, I think, because you're two, like, cover athletes on the boxes, uh, Rosny Castillo, and Rodon's been hurt a lot, hasn't really proven to be the number one or number two starter he was drafted to be, and Castillo is in AAA making uh, millions of dollars. But there are some uh, gems in this product, gems as in players that have develop nicely so um we got albies his first bowman devers has a prospect auto it's his second year bowman and uh severino prospect auto second year bowman so, so we're gonna break this one i had one left over from like three years ago it was just sitting in my uh office back there and i figured i'd break it on camera instead of selling it um, for a while, boxes of this were about 45 to 50 bucks, which is great to get Bowman for that price. Um, but um, let's just break through it. Kind of the same format as Bowman now. So there's a bias base rookie who's having a great season this year. <laughs> First pack, Albies Chrome. I think this is, see, this one's off center. You see how the, the uh, right is so thin. So I probably won't be able to send this one in. But it's still cool to uh, pull one in the first pack. So Albies Chrome Rookie. I think these are going for like five or six bucks now, which isn't like a crazy amount, but it is just a base Chrome Rookie. It's a neat card right there. Austin Meadows, he's been a prospect for a long time. And there's our uh, Castillo. So that is actually the Silver Ice. It's actually a neat looking card too. Gyro Labor. So I know all these prospects very well from breaking tons of uh, I, I probably broke about five cases of this stuff so jason rogers i don't know what's up with him he's probably in the minors i haven't heard his name in a long time um it's it's kind of the same i think you don't get a lot of uh numbered parallels which is kind of a uh downer but um tons of prospect cards stuff to slab if you're into that so greg bird who i believe he's out for a little while longer there's an addison russell this is actually his uh, rookie year but the card was made before he got called up so it doesn't have the uh, logo and it's part of the prospect set so we'll just go through these uh dilson herrera not i think he's in the red system now but i've i've always been a bowman hobby guy instead of jumbo i don't know and that might be just because i'm not into the autos as much as most collectors so there's a Schwarber. Um, I believe his rookie year is 2016. So this is just a prospect, a second-year prospect. And here's one of these minis. I, I just can't stand these mini cards. Cards are small enough as it is. We don't really need them to be smaller. So that's Ben Lively, who did have a live arm. But I don't think he, I, he actually might be up. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And uh, Christian Walker, who was starting for Milwaukee for a while. I don't know what happened there with that. There's a trout base. Um, I probably won't slab a trout paper base. I mean, it's not like you couldn't. You, you can slab anything you want. Nelson Gomez for the Yankees. So it's the. I mean, these prospect cards are fun. Check the birth date on this. He was born in '97, and he's got a 2015 card, so he's 17 or 18 in this photo. And just kind of, it's it's fun to look back on Bowman and just check their progress. Uh, the majority of these players are not going to make it. Just that. That's just the. The uh, nature of the of the business there's only so many roster spots in the the big leagues and there's so many prospects out there so that's just something you need to uh, to realize. Uh, Chris Bryant, this is his rookie year, but this was before he got called up when the card went into production, so it's just a prospect card and paper, and that that's a cool one. So we had him. Maneo was in our farm system, but we had to deal him to get Zobrist, and I believe. Zobris was a key part of us uh, winning the 2015 World Series. Uh, Mane has gone on to become a very good pitcher for the A's, and of course he threw the no-hitter last month, so I think that trade worked out for both teams. Of, of course, now I, I wish we had him back, but that's a whole other story. Our farm system's totally empty, and our uh, Major League roster is kind of a mess too, so it's just kind of somber times to be a, a Royals fan. But it's it's back back to the old days. It's not like we're not used to it. So, there's a Michael Franco. He's actually racking up the RBIs this year. And then uh, Willie Adamas, who should be up soon. I don't really know 
what Tampa Bay's waiting on with him. And I'm, I'm thinking box prices of this stuff are sitting around uh, 70 bucks, maybe. That sounds about right. Joe Jackson, looks like we got some paper color here. So Tyler Kolek, who, I don't know, I think he had, he's dealing with Tommy John right now, but he's really been a, a bust. He was drafted top five, I want to say, and he just hasn't lived up to the billing. And that's kind of one of the, one of the risks you deal with when you draft any player that high. I mean, it doesn't, yeah, he, he came from high school, but, I mean, it, it could happen to a college kid. And then here's our auto. Uh, Tomas is actually in AAA. The uh, Diamondbacks didn't, didn't want him to play in the majors anymore. And Correa. So here's the auto. Avery Romero. And th this is kind of one of the lower tier autos that you can pull. But, I mean, it is what it is. So we tried to get something cool, but not every box is great. So still fun to break this product. He's actually having a nice season for uh, Toronto. So that that's a cool little chrome rookie card right there. Severino, Marcos Molina was a lot more highly regarded three years ago than he is now. And that, that's what happens with these kids. You know, when they're 21 and 22 and they're pitching well and then they get hurt and they can't come back to that same level. By that time, they're 25 and they've kind of already fizzled out. So... That's why it's so tough to actually make it. There's a Grinky. Uh, Solaire, who's having a great season for us right now, so we'll probably be able to trade him at the trade deadline. There's a Devers. That that one's actually centered nicely. We've got a lot more of the white right there. And that's one I'd probably consider slabbing. Um, yeah, it's not a first-year prospect card, but, I mean, it just kind of depends on the player with that. And there's Castillo. Dermis Garcia. Uh, Yankees prospect. Don't know a lot about how he's uh, moved along, but I know in this card he's like 17 years old, so he was very young at this point. Devers Paper. Jake Bowers. He's a top 100 prospect for Tampa now, I, I believe, in one of these flashback cards. So I think the... Insert sets in this are better than 2018 Bowman. That's just my opinion. But Here's a gyro labor. That's the silver ice. That, those actually look really cool. And then Sosa. I was actually thinking this kid was going to be something special back in 2015, and I kind of talked him up a little bit. Um, he, he is in double A, and I think he's only 22 or 23, so, so we'll see on him. Alex Meyer, I don't know what happened to him. He's a like six nine or six ten relief pitcher. Uh, he's out of baseball right now. He was the number one pick. Breaking this product just brings back a lot of memories. There's a Bowers Chrome, and there's one of these minis. This is like the farm's finest of Eddie Butler, who has I believe he's fizzled out too. <laughs> Billy Hamilton. There's a David Dahl who's back up or back playing. I think he was hurt for a while. Tapia, he's kind of like a fringe uh, major leaguer. I don't think they have room for him on the roster, but sometimes he's up. And Max Pentecost was like a big prospect catcher. I don't know how he's how he's moved along, if he's in a new organization or what. Um, there's Tim Anderson. He's, he's up with the Sox now. Kolick, Robert Stevenson. Logan Moon. <laughs> this this guy's like 28 now. Uh, Manny Margot. This is the Bowman Scouts top 100. That's that's a neat looking card. Not worth anything, but it's still cool looking. So this is going to be about a 10 minute break, and that's pretty much how long it takes to break a product with this many packs and show the cards and talk a little bit. There's a Rodon first Bowman. So I think he was drafted in 2014. Yeah, he was the third pick in 2014, but sometimes... 
uh, tops save some of the prospects. So they have, you know, they, they didn't put them in 2014 draft. They they used them to headline Bowman, which I think is a smart move. This is a second year Mookie. Uh, Ref Snyder, he's kind of fizzled out. Stephen Moya fizzle out. <laughs> the majority of these guys. He's, he, he pitched a good game for the Yankees the other day. Domingo Herman. There's a Sano. He looks skinny right there. He needs to watch that weight. That's a cool one, Scouts. I would slab this if I thought it was an, a 10. So, Ozzy Alves, Scouts, top 100. That's cool. And, uh, last pack. Urias, and then we have a refractor of Rob Kaminsky to 499. So, there was a little more numbered stuff in this one compared to 2018. Um, Fun product, not the best box, but it wasn't terrible. We got two uh, Albies cards. That's it. Later.